What to say when you cannot answer an interview question is what we are going to talk about in today's video. Preparing for interviews is real work. Even if you practice and practice, you would still get a question that you just don't know the answer to. Whether it's a technical question on something you've never heard of or just something completely unexpected. A question that numbs you can throw you off the pacing of the conversation and leave you a bit shaken. So, what should you do when you get interview questions that you have no idea how to respond to? Try one of these approaches. Welcome to Think Possible, but what you want to be, you already have within you. Approach number one is to take your time. First things first, acknowledge that the question was asked and you're thinking about it. Saying, hmm, that was a great question. Let me think about it. Answers will come up as you take your time to work through your thoughts on how to answer the question. It is important to remember to avoid awkward silences. Take time to gather your thoughts. Make sure you don't say anything that gives away the fact that you are stuck. The second approach is to think out loud. In most cases, hiring managers ask tricky questions not to hear you say the right answer immediately but get a better sense of how you think through a problem. So after you've taken a minute to gather your thought through explaining what you have been thinking about, you can proceed from there. For example, if asked something like, tell me about your marketing strategy for this product. If you don't have a process or strategy yet, a good approach would be to imagine that you are drawing a marketing strategy there and then. It is important to share the steps out loud. Add transitional adverbs like first of all, then and lastly. To give your answer some form, you can finish off with a qualifying statement like the process varies depending on the situation. This shows you are flexible even if your answer is not what the hiring manager could be looking for. Third approach is to redirect the answer. If you are asked a question you cannot work through, try redirecting it to an area you are familiar with. You may not have the needed skill but can connect it to similar skills. It's much better than saying you do not have the skill they are looking for. For example, if you applied for a position that requires leadership skills and experience and are asked about your experience, if you do not have this experience, try redirecting the answer to something you have experience with. For example, in this instance, you could move toward your excellent communication skills and ability to work with people easily and you can say something like, that's one of the reasons I'm excited about this job. I have excellent interpersonal skills as said by my former supervisor, as well as good communication skills. I think I'm very well equipped to combine these two skills to make a good manager. The fourth approach you could take is to acknowledge that you do not know the answer. You may get a question that no amount of thinking or redirecting can help you with. There are some technical questions that require definitions or understanding concepts that you can work out right away. These questions may include a single answer. Such cases may be seen in medical care when asked to manage a certain condition or perform a certain procedure. Say you're applying for a nursing job and asked what is the adult dose for ibuprofen and you really have no idea. You could say something like, that's not a concept I'm really familiar with yet, but nursing is something I'm really excited about. I've been actively trying to learn more. I've been doing research and practicing pharmacy more. 
This question has been a mind opener and that's an area I'm going to put great emphasis on the next time I do my research. After the interview, remember to follow up with an email stating the right answer. This shows the interviewer that you are serious about the job and unveils another side of you. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support you've given to this channel. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell so that you do not miss each time we post a new video. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the 100 subscriber milestone. God bless you all.